Hi, Extended Day Kids. Today I want to read you the story of Ricky Tiki Tabi. It's a story that I enjoyed very much growing up, and it's a story that actually I revisited in seventh grade for a project. So, this is the story of a brave little mongoose. His name was Ricky Tiki Tabi. Every mongoose is little, fast, and furry, but not many mongooses were ever as brave as Ricky Tiki Tabi. Ricky Tiki Tabi lived in India, a faraway country. He lived inside a hill in the jungle. A hole inside the hill was his home. One day, a big flood rushed through the jungle. It swept Ricky Tiki Tabi out of his hole. The rushing water carried him away. Ricky Tiki Tabi bumped and rolled with the water. He thrashed his long, bushy tail. He was brave, but he could not fight the flood. The flood was over in a flash. Ricky Tiki Tabi had been washed away. He was far from home. His back hurt, his head hurt, even the tip of his long tail hurt. He lay there in a puddle for a long time. He was very weak. He could barely move. Ricky Tiki Tabi heard voices around him. Something died in the road, a boy said. Is it a cat, Teddy? asked his mother. I think it's a rat, said Teddy. Ricky Tiki Tabi lifted his head a bit. It's a mongoose, said Teddy's father. A mongoose, asked Teddy. I've never seen one before. Is it still alive? It is still alive, but just barely, said Teddy's father. The boy picked Ricky Tiki Tavi up from the mud. He wrapped him in his shirt and carried him home. His parents brought out a towel for him. Ricky Tiki Tavi was wet and cold. The soft, dry towel warmed him up. Rub the towel over his fur, Teddy, said the boy's mother. The little guy is soaked through. Ricky Ricky Tiki Tavi liked being under the towel. He felt safe there. The towel tickled his nose. He let out a sneeze. He shook the last few drops of muddy water from his fur. Teddy and his mother and father laughed. Ricky Tiki Tavi started to feel better. He poked his head out from under the towel. He looked around. His new friends looked very kind. Ricky Tiki Tavi brushed his little pink nose against Teddy's chin. Hey, that tickles, Teddy said. He wants to be your friend, said Teddy's father. Can I keep him? Teddy asked. He is a wild animal, his mother said. You can't keep a wild animal, his father said. He will go wherever he wants to go. Ricky Tiki Tavi ducked back under the towel for a little nap. Well, it looks like this is where he wants to be, Teddy's father said. Everyone laughed again. Ricky Tiki Tavi liked that. It made him feel much better. Ricky Tiki Tavi liked Teddy's house. It was warm and clean. Teddy was always willing to play with him. At bedtime, he crawled under the covers to sleep beside Teddy. Ricky Tiki Tavi still wanted to do the things a wild mongoose did. He liked to play in the garden. He liked to run under the rose bushes and through the grass. In the garden, Ricky Tiki Tavi made many new animal friends. His best friend was Darcy. She was a beautiful songbird. Am I the only mongoose around? He asked Darcy. I have never seen anyone quite like you, Darcy said. Ricky Tiki Tavi felt special. He was the only mongoose around. He liked the idea of being the only mongoose around. He ran back through the yard. The garden was his own little jungle kingdom. Suddenly, Ricky Tiki Tavi heard Darzy's shriek. She rushed to the tree where she lived. My egg, she cried. It fell from my nest. And Nag slithered off with it. Who is Nag? asked Ricky Tiki Tavi. Ricky Tiki Tavi heard a low hiss behind him. He turned with a start. A big deadly snake looked down on him who is nag the snake hissed i am nag the snake had angry red eyes it stared at ricky tiki tavi my family has ruled this garden for thousands of years nag said every animal here must fear me 
Rikki Tikki Tavi was not afraid of Nag. Nag was a cobra. Cobras were one of the deadliest snakes in the world. But Rikki Tikki Tavi was a mongoose. A mongoose is one of the few animals unafraid of cobras. I do not fear you, Nag, Rikki Tikki Tavi said. Rikki Tikki Tavi was ready to fight. His eyes turned a deep red, just like Nag's eyes. Nag had a surprise of his own. There were two snakes living in the garden. Nag had a wife. Her name was Nagaina. She appeared behind Rikki Tikki Tavi. Look out! yelled Darzi. Nagaina struck at Rikki Tikki Tavi with her fangs. Rikki Tikki Tavi hopped out of her way. The two snakes escaped by sliding away into the tall grass. That night, Teddy and his parents slept. Rikki Tikki Tavi stayed awake. He peeked his head out from under Teddy's warm covers. He heard the sound of snakes moving along the rug. He also heard voices. Rikki Tikki Tavi went toward the bathroom. The snakes were whispering in the dark. Rikki Tikki Tavi crept closer until he could hear what they were saying. He listened carefully. Nag and his wife were making evil plans. We must scare the big ones away, Nag whispered. The people will be gone. There will be no one to help the little mongoose. Then the garden will be ours again, his wife said. Our eggs will hatch soon. We will raise our children to rule this place. We will rule for a thousand more years, Nag said. Rikki Tikki Tavi's eyes glowed a deep red. He did not like the snakes in the house. Go into the bedroom, Nagaina told Nag. I will wait outside. When the people come running out, I will be waiting. We will take care of the mongoose together, Nag said. Nagaina slithered out of the yard. Nag slithered up the hall toward the bedrooms. Rikki Tikki Tavi watched Nag move away. He had to be sure to be quiet. He crept up behind him. He used his quick little legs to leap up. He landed on the snake's neck. Nag twisted and turned. He whipped his head around. Rikki Tikki Tavi held onto his neck. He did not want the cobra's fangs to reach him. Rikki Tikki Tavi bit the snake. He would not let go. Nag hissed. Rikki Tikki Tavi held on. The snake could not shake him off. Rikki Tikki Tavi heard a loud sound. He didn't know what happened, but Nag's body went limp. Rikki Tikki Tavi saw Teddy's father standing over them. He had a broomstick. He had hit Nag over the head with it. He dropped it and picked up Rikki Tikki Tavi. The brave mongoose was not harmed. Teddy, his mother called. Your mongoose has just saved our lives. Rikki Tikki Tavi knew he would have to fight Nagaina. She would find out Nag was dead and want revenge. She would hurt Rikki Tikki Tavi's family. Rikki Tikki Tavi made sure his family was safe. Then he went outside. He found Darcy in the garden. He told her how he had beaten Nag. He told her how he planned to save, how t he planned to send Nagaina away. I am going to find Nagaina's eggs. Rikki Tikki Tavi said, "You must help me by keeping Nagaina busy. I will keep her away for as long as I can." Darcy said. Darcy hopped toward the house. Nagaina was crying near the porch. Oh my, Darcy said. My wing is broken. I cannot fly. Nagaina heard Darcy's cries. She slithered toward the bird. Darcy hopped away from the house. She hopped away from the garden. Nagaina followed her. She did not know Darcy was pretending. Rikki Tikki Tavi waited for Nagaina to, reach, to leave the garden. Then he carried her eggs away. Darcy flew over him when he had the last egg. Hurry, Rikki Tikki Tavi, she said. Nagaina is on the porch. She has trapped Teddy and his family. Rikki Tikki Tavi ran as fast as he could to the house. Teddy's family stood in a corner of the porch. Nagaina faced them with her red eyes. She hissed and slithered closer to them. Teddy and his parents were very afraid. Their faces were very white. Nagaina was ready to strike. She turned first toward Teddy. Rikki Tikki Tavi rushed up the steps to the porch. He dropped the last egg beside Nagaina. I have the last of your eggs here, Rikki Tikki Tavi said. The rest are now hidden from you. Nagaina turned her angry eyes on Rikki Tikki Tavi. My babies, what have you done with them? She hissed. Rikki Tikki Tavi glared back at her. He was not afraid of Nag. 
He was not afraid of Nagaina. He would not back down from her. Teddy and his parents ran into the house. They looked through the window as the terrible fight began. Nagaina snapped at Rikki Tikki Tabi. He leapt away from her deadly fangs. He was quick. He turned and dodged again after Nagaina's strikes. Nagaina twisted her own angry dance. Her tail hit the egg. The egg rolled off the porch. Before Rikki Tikki Tabi could stop her, Nagaina slid toward her egg. She snatched it up in her mouth and slithered away. Nagaina hurried to bring her egg to safety. She rushed, her, she rushed to her hole near the melon patch. Rikki Tikki Tavi followed her. Darzi flew at the snake. Nagaina did not even slow down. Rikki Tikki Tavi ran as fast as he could. He was close behind Nagaina. He could smell her fear. Nagaina slid into her hole. Rikki Tikki Tavi leapt at her tail. He grabbed it and held on. Nagaina dragged him down into the hole. The fight continued. Rikki Tikki Tavi bit and clawed at Nagaina. She dropped her egg and Rikki Tikki Tavi grabbed her head. If she moved, she would crush her last egg. I will not harm you or your family, Rikki Tikki Tavi said, but you must promise you will not harm my family. Where are my eggs? Nagaina hissed. I put them in the meadow beside the river, Rikki Tikki Tavi answered boldly. They are safe. Get them and never return here. Nagaina agreed with a hiss. She took her eggs and left the garden. She would not come back. She was gone forever. Teddy and his parents had had saved Rikki Tikki Tavi after the flood. Rikki Tikki Tavi had returned their kindness. He lived with them for a long time. His nights were spent under Teddy's warm covers. His days were spent playing in the garden. It was his own little jungle kingdom. Well, thank you, Extended Day Kids. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next week.